people is pleased to present 40 Days 40 Fintechs, an initiative under its Include Everyone program, as it continues to lead the way in advocacy for the creation and dissemination of technology that enables financial inclusivity. The 40 Days 40 Fintechs is shining a spotlight on those that are breaking down digital barriers and bringing millions more on the continent into the transactional space and transforming their lives for the better. Card Pesa is, it is a tier four non-deposit taking microfinance institution. We are regulated by Uganda Microfinance Regulatory Authority. And what we do is we give, we advance credit to the general public of Uganda. That is in form of working capital and um, emergency loans. So that means we do not really look at a specific group of people. We are not saying, we are not the kind of people who will tell you only income, only salary earners, or only business people, it is the general public. The young ones, as long as you can demonstrate that you're involved in economic activity and you can convince us that there's a need for the cash you're taking and what you're going to use it for will be something that will earn you some money. Then we are all good. We are willing to go all the way with you. The best way I can tell people who are trying to enroll is uh, to go to our website, www.cardpesa.com. That is where you go. And when you're on the website, you'll obviously see some introductory message about what we do, and you'll see a plus sign saying sign up. That is your very starting point on how to fill the form. And when you're filling the form, you'll talk about where you stay, the kind of economic activity you're involved in, and give us three references. That is a, a, a workmate, a next of kin, and a guarantor. Maybe the other thing I would like hint on is the fact that when you give us references, we are not telling you that these people will pay in case you fail to pay. But in short, you're telling us these people know me. They can verify the information I am saying about myself. So say if you say I'm an accountant, does your next of kin know that you're an accountant? All these are checks that we go through when you were trying to know our clients. But that is all just enrollment. At the end of the day, all the steps you'll go through after filling the form is just trying to find the best way you can tell us I'm involved in economic activity. This is my future plan and how I'm going to earn this money. And this is the deal I'm trying to get the money for. Yeah, funding your hustle because all Ugandans are, are not getting income from only one place. If you're a salary earner, you probably have chicken that you're wearing on the side. I can also attest to that because growing up, my parents would, uh, my dad was like working. He was an engineer, but he still had projects where he would grow say plantations of sugar cane my mom had chicken on the side so is there anyone in uganda who is looking at a way to finance that because it's it's, it's what it's how we are living as africans and as ugandans to cut pesa financial inclusion comes down to one thing there's a lot of things said about financial inclusion being able to move money from here to there being able to record transactions but all that is for nothing if at the end of the day no one puts money in the pockets of the ordinary person so to us, financial inclusion is giving credit to the ordinary Ugandan. The reason why our enterprises don't grow and they don't reach their full potential, or we are the most entrepreneurial country, but the number of business failures is so high comes down to inability of businesses to raise credit. So when we say we are involved in financial inclusion, we are actually providing those funds that keep enterprise alive give people money to grow their hustles. Post-COVID, one thing I'll tell you is all Ugandans took their lessons seriously. Everyone learned that uh, it, is, it is not very good to have one source of income. So during COVID, you saw very many people starting up more side hustles, which was already the case, but now it was at a higher rate. And people have not stopped with those businesses. So me, I'll tell you that we have grown from our clientele has grown greatly and um, and people have learned to appreciate credit even better. So we still have people who were probably very crippled during COVID, so they weren't performing on their loans, but because they appreciate the service, they are now coming back and saying, I know I wasn't doing well in COVID, but now I got back my job, they call me back. How best can I talk to you? Can we make a payment plan? And maybe I'll pay like this. And because as card person, we are not looking at are just getting the money and not growing our clients, it is okay. Some people tell you, I lost my job. They, then you're like, okay, can we make a payment plan? 
someone is like, yeah, we even have clients who are paying as little as 10,000 per month, as long as they are going to cover. And because we are looking at long term, once you've cleared the old credit and now you're in the good books, you can still reinstate your account. Yes. So we have grown client-wise and people appreciate the service better. Credit without collateral, yes. We have tried as much as possible to improve the livelihood of women in our society. And we're not giving lip service to this, uh, this issue. Uh, Card Pesa has a 50% uh, men to women ratio. So for every man, there's a woman. And secondly, uh, we, so we are, we're, from, from the money we earn, we fund women. And secondly, we allow women to borrow from the platform without needing their husband or spousal consent. We let them give us their own records. We let them show us who they are and we treat their information in the confidentiality that they require for them to operate normally. We are data driven, so without a doubt, we'll go where the data leads us and we are trying as much as possible to give everybody an equal chance. Sometimes financial inclusion or inclusion of women is just saying treat women and men equally. Don't have any preference for women and don't have any preference for men and that will help them all so that everybody grows and that's our, 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 our ethos. I do understand that us women are actually risk averse. So even when we have the capacity to take on more loan, we shall still borrow within a safe percentage. I think what, in, what needs to be done is to probably um, send out more information to let the women know about good credit. I can also say that I, I'm also a very risk averse person, but because I now work directly with giving loans, I'll tell you there's something called good credit and bad credit. Good credit is, has your, is, is your lender willing to understand your transaction? Can they offer you some advice? Yeah. Can they empower you with the information that you need so that maybe you open your eyes to how good the credit is? So I would say mainly it is sending out more info because we, we, we talk a lot about giving credit, but we don't inform people about what good credit is. A woman will think the moment you go for a loan, our house is going, but <laughs> there's good credit out there. People are financing and they are going far. We even have, we, I, I, there are some clients I have seen personally who have grown credit-wise. Someone started at a, a, a limit as low as 100 something and they are now in the millions and they are w women. So if we could get such people to also give their testimonies, I think it would help with the general perception. Uh, 40 Days, 40 Fintechs and High People have become our partners and they are spearheading this growth or this area like no other in this country. Uh, we have worked with them now for close to a year. We are very happy with our partnership. They look at things differently. We merge as organizations. We have the same, the, the same vision and our vision is to help improve the livelihood of the indigenous local person in Uganda. High people highlights and 40 days, 40 people highlights those people in fintech who are doing exceptionally well, who other people don't normally pick up on. People like, we would never have been on this kind of platform, but God, but high people and uh, 40 days, 40 people gave us the platform, which introduced us to the world, showed them that, they are, that we are doing things that will make a difference in our local environment. So I have lots, I have only good things to say about our relationship with high people and I'm very happy to have taken part in it last year and I'll take part in it again this year. Card Pesa is very ready and willing to fund your hustle. As I have said, we do not focus on a particular group of people. Everyone has a hustle. Just come tell your story and you can find us on www.cardpesa.com which is our website. 40 Days 40 Fintechs is presented in prior partnership with Crosslake Technologies, Modus Box, Modulo Foundation and Level 1 Project.